Hello everybody, my name is Khaled Siddiqui and in this video I'm going to teach you how to use land maps or land navigation in an ordinary old Garmin Nuvi 1350 GPS. Now you need to know what's the difference between land maps and street maps. Street maps will cover all the streets and highways and roads and even some alleys but it's not going to cover trails uh, footpaths off-roads um, ditches canyons mountains lakes and all that for that you need land map uh, which is also known as uh, topography or topographical maps this is what we are going to learn today how to use this topographical map on a cheap GPS because usually to buy a topographical uh, GPS or land GPS it's going to be very expensive they're not uh, cheap like uh, inexpensive like uh, street GPS's they're very costly however you could still use it you may not be able to take full advantage of the topography uh, map uh, using a street GPS but it will serve the purpose now one thing you need to know is how this thing came into my attention a person lost a drone in a forest they were flying a drone and it was you know it was it, it it fell off the sky by by you know making an accident uh, cr uh, crashing with a tree or something but it, it was lost so this person got the GPS coordinates of their drone on their drone remote control but they don't know how to get there to that place using a Garmin uh, because uh, a, a regular street Garmin doesn't know how to guide you to that place because it doesn't know if that uh, if there is a pathway to that place it could be a canyon it could be a dense forest which you cannot pass it could be a river so regular GPS doesn't know but a, a map of the, with the topographical map or uh, topo map will know exactly where the trails are uh, it will know the elevation of each one it's not going to send you through a steep elevation which is unclimbable basically it takes everything in consideration so anyways here's how we use it now before I, I, I show you this I, I must m tell you this that you have to have the topographical map available uh, for the region uh, you are or basically for the region where you need to have access uh, because I only have uh, for North America which is uh, n not going to be functional anywhere else in the world so you have to have the correct one for your area before you can navigate to that place okay all right so let's start using this normally this is your Garmin GPS you know now we want to go to tools first of course I put the topographical map chip uh, on the side of the GPS so this already I have the map already inserted so now I'm gonna go to uh, settings tools settings maps info so I have to uncheck the regular street map okay this one I have to uncheck and only leave the topo US 100k I must do that in order to uh, uh, reduce the load from the GPS so it doesn't have to load both maps because that will come substantially slow down this GPS remember these GPS are very old nearly 15 years old they don't have that much power to run two maps two huge maps each one you know two four, to three gigabyte at the same time so only that one is checked now with with topography what you do is if you go to the map you will actually see the layout of the land you see that you see the rivers each one of these layers will show the elevation level for example this place is 550 feet high this is 700 feet high 250 feet and 1300 feet 
and if we come here in the summit it's 2350 feet high this is the summit of a mountain close to my house each one of these little lines uh, will will basically shows equal elevation all around what does that mean let me grab a little sharp object and show you for example if you follow this line this line all this area around this line is 2200 feet where it says here all around one line above it is higher elevation which is 2350 and so on so that's why these lines are basically these lines that you're seeing are elevation levels uh, of uh, of that particular area so let's say if your drone has fallen here now with the topographical map it will guide you how to go there based on the possibilities uh, of how to go there it doesn't send you there from an impossible route so for example let's say I want to go here let me show you let's say I want to go to to this place uh, this place right here this 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 area I click on it this place that I want to go to is 700 feet high I could either save it or go to it if I go to it it will currently it's locating satellite so it doesn't actually calculate my route but it will show me the dots taking me through all these trails these are the trails pa this is a little bridge uh, so basically all these the path that it's going to take me through will be a possible path not an impossible path now if I didn't have the topographical map first of all I wouldn't have known the elevation of the region second it wouldn't know how to send me there because it doesn't know how to send me there it basically doesn't have the information of of trails and footpaths and all the little other uh, you know routes that lead to that location okay so that's why it's important to have a topographical map in order to do land navigation or go somewhere in land now if I was given uh, I'm gonna stop that if I was given the coordinates of the location where my drone has fallen and I need to go there this is what I do I go to where to okay I don't put any of these I go down and I go to coordinates from this coordinates I enter whatever coordinate was given to me and then I click next and I click go and of course I don't have any satellite reception so it's indoors it's not gonna calculate my route but that's how you do it you could zoom out and zoom out and zoom out to see all your path where you're going to or zoom in and zoom in if you want to be more accurate the more you zoom in the more accurate your path will just be displayed and the more you zoom out you it will cover r r larger area but the accuracy will be very rough it won't show you the exact details so that's how you use a topographical map in a normal uh, Garmin GPS or I should say a, a normal car GPS because uh, this is a car GPS a Garmin Nuvi 1350 is a car GPS it's not a land GPS and that's why they're so cheap you can get these for under $50 on eBay where if you want a color screened land GPS good luck finding it less than $200 so yeah that's how you do it thank you for watching please make sure to like and subscribe